Bartholomew's song, written and directed by Destin Cretton and Lowell Frank, tells the story of a test subject's journey to break the system he lives in. The film's tagline is, In a world with no hope, one man must sing. In an interview with Slant Magazine, Lowell Frank is praised for utilizing the tools of cinema to create a tangible sense of emotional epiphany in the viewer. Cretton and Frank are able to do this through a relatively simple dramatic structure of normal world, conflict, and resolution. Bartholomew's song begins by showing us the normal world of our story. Barsam and Monaghan define normal world in their text, looking at movies, as the first few minutes of a film in which the filmmakers tell us about the world of the story we are about to experience. Next comes a conflict in this short film. We can see this conflict arise after Bartholomew 467 finds a tape device and begins to learn the song from it. We see Bartholomew 467 begin to act different as a result of the tape machine and notice problems in his world. This leads us to the climax of the film when Bartholomew 467 kills the voice telling all of the Bartholomews to do the mundane tasks. After this, Bartholomew 467 sings the song that he learned from the tape recorder into the loudspeaker, which is key to bringing about the resolution of this film, which occurs when we see one of the Bartholomews hearing the song and wondering what this lost art may be. Bartholomew's song uses diegetic elements to enhance the plot. Barsam and Monaghan define diegetic elements as things that exist only in the world of the story, meaning that all we can see as the audience can also be seen by the characters. While Bartholomew's song is made up of mostly elements that contribute to the plot, there are also implicit ideas that contribute to the story of the film, like the idea that music once existed but no longer does in the world of the film. This film is narrated through the eyes of the camera, and the audience has a restricted view. Barsam and Monaghan define a restricted view as limiting the information it provides the audience to things known only by a specific character in the film. Bartholomew's song is full of mostly flat characters, or characters that have a few distinct traits and don't change throughout the film. But Bartholomew 467 is a round character, meaning that he is complex, has numerous traits, and changes throughout the film. Bartholomew's change over time is his mission or quest that creates the drama of this short film. Death to the Tin Man, directed by Ray Tentori, differs in many ways from Bartholomew's song, but is also a well-known and praised short film. The dramatic structure of Death to the Tin Man is more complex than that of Bartholomew's song. Tin Man begins with an exposition and introduces the characters, which are primarily round in contrast to Bartholomew's song. The introduction of Bill and his love for Jane is also part of the inciting action, as it presents the character with a goal that drives the rest of the narrative, which is Bill's love for Jane. The fight between Bill and the rest of the town, the firefighters mainly, shows the rising action next. A plethora of events are also part of the rising action in this film. Bill's father, who is the preacher, inadvertently curses him and ultimately causes him to become the Tin Man. When a vegetable version of Bill shows up in town, the Tin Man is faced with the obstacle of winning Jane back. Later in the film, when the rapture occurs, the Tin Man is faced with the challenge of saving the vegetable Bill for Jane. He ultimately chooses to and gives the vegetable his heart. This is the climax of the film. Next comes the falling action and final resolution that Jane and the Tin Man are now the only two left on Earth. Barsam and Monaghan define the resolution as wrapping up loose ends and giving a conclusion. Death to the Tin Man uses mostly non-diegetic elements to contribute to the story, which greatly contrasts from Bartholomew's song. Non-diegetic elements used are titles, the score of the film, and the third-person omniscient narrator. We know these are non-diegetic elements because, as Barsam and Monaghan define, they are things only the audience can see that come from outside the world of the film, and they exist only for the audience to serve the plot. The third-person narrator is speaking from a remove of the action and can provide info not accessible to those in the story. The narrator in Death to the Tin Man is also omniscient and knows all. This non-diegetic element really drives the short film by explaining how characters feel and what their goal is. Bartholomew's song differs greatly from this because there is only a restricted narrator from the camera. In an interview with Vice, director Ray Tintori explains how the immature elements of Death to the Tin Man were a filmmaking choice he made and the story he intended to tell. Both short films illustrate the differences between plot and story and non-diegetic and diegetic elements beautifully. 
They also show the importance of narration to a story and how they can greatly change the whole narrative.